In this video, I wanna show you how you can automatically set marketing contacts as non-marketing contacts inside of HubSpot based on certain criteria such as email unsubscriptions or replying stop to text messages or things like that. So if you're looking to automatically remove people from marketing contact seats so you can free those up to use for other people, then stick around because that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. So first thing is we're going to make a workflow that is from scratch and it's going to be contact based. And the first thing that we need to do is set up a trigger to say like when an event occurs and we're going to say email. So when an email is bounced and that's one option, or we could say when an email is you know, updated email subscription status. And then the other one for updated email subscription status. So this one we could say they unsubscribed is equal to true. So if they unsubscribe and then the other one would be for SMS. And so if SMS is failed, that could be another one. Okay, so we have those three groups and I'm gonna add one other criteria and this is gonna be contact and this would be for tags. Uh, so I actually don't have it for this client. So let's go back to workflows and we're going to make a new property here and we are going to call this property tags. So create property, this is going to be called tags and this is uh, going to be under contact information and the field type on this is going to be a multiple checkboxes. So we can say blacklist. And then again, we might add other things in the future, but for now we're just going to use blacklist. So occasionally you might just want to blacklist a customer, even though we've never, nothing ever happened to them. And then the last thing is we're going to go make a list. This list I like calling master exclusion. So master exclusion list. We are going to do a static list. This out of contacts, we want to permanently keep as non-marketing slash unsubscribe. Okay, so there's our list. We're gonna click next and I can save the list. And now that I have that static list and I made that other property, I can go back to my workflows, uh, workflows, and we're gonna dive into the one we were just working on here. All right, so it looks like it did not save my enrollment triggers, which is great. So the first group that we want is going to be email bounced. The next one would be if the email subscription status was updated to unsubscribe is true. And then the other one is going to be if the SMS was failed, we're going to save that. Now we have all three of those. And then what we want to do in that situation is add them to a list. So add to static list. And then the static list that we want to add them to is the master exclusion list. Actually, we, we could do one other one here. So if it is for our enrollment, so if it's that, the SMS fails, email bounces, or I'm going to do one other one. This would be contact properties and the tag that I just made. Tags is any of blacklist. So any of those things, if any of those are true, we're going to add them to the list, our, our static list is going to be the master exclusion and it's configuring. So we're gonna wait a second and then hit save. So there we go. And now I have my workflow of, we're gonna say add contact to master exclusion list based on criteria. So that's that. Now that's the first workflow. You could just add in the marketing contact status or update the marketing contact status right now. But if for some reason we want to add people to this master exclusion list through an automation or some other means, I actually like doing this first where we're just going to publish this only. So we're going to click next and next and turn on workflow. And then I can go back. So I have that one's now good. And the other one that I was working on here, actually delete this so we can, you can see how it all begins. So the trigger for this is going to be when criteria is met, and this is going to be list membership is master exclusion list. So what we've done here is said, if the contact, any contact is added to master exclusion list, then we will update their marketing contact status. So set marketing contact status as non-marketing, and we're gonna save that. So now we're saying uh, set 
non-marketing contact status when contact is added to master exclusion list. So I'll go ahead and save that, and then we can review and publish, and uh, no, we'll start on today. So click next, 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 turn on. And so that's the simple workflow. The first one is going to add them to the list. And again, the reason why I separated those is because sometimes you're gonna run into a scenario where you want to be able to add people to a list for a given reason. And we want to make sure that anytime someone is added to that list, regardless of the means that they are added, that they get marked as non-marketing. So that's the process to do that. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation, where our mission is to free you up to do what you love. At Boolean, we work hard with painting companies to automate all of their back office processes. We eliminate wasted data entry, streamline reporting, and save hundreds of thousands of dollars annually in salaries and overhead positions that painting companies don't need. So if that's of interest, reach out, let us know how we might be able to help you or point you in the right direction. We love helping painting companies.